So welcome to welcome to welcome to FM Chushon Academy. Okay. So if you know you are grade ten, a grade eleven a grade 12, or somebody who is trying to do GCE will be able to assist you with the online tuitions, with online tuitions, okay? We're able to assist you with online tuitions. So, you can contact us on this WhatsApp line, 0979-0979. Twenty seventy six or zero nine five three 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 twelve zero four. Okay, you can contact us on any of those WhatsApp numbers. You make sure you WhatsApp those numbers. Okay, now today we are dealing with what the basic thing that we are looking uh, we, we are looking at a topic in chemistry. And that topic is called, you're going to love these guys, it's called oxides. This topic comes in your exam. Usually the GCE exam, even grade 12 exam, this topic comes, oxide. The first thing you need to know is we need to define what an oxide is. What is an oxide? Okay? What is an oxide? This is the question. What is an oxide? We have to define what an oxide is. What is it? So an oxide is a compound formed when oxygen combines an, with an element. An oxide, a compound formed, a compound formed when oxygen reacts or combines with an element okay once oxygen combines or reacts with an element the compound that is formed is called an oxide okay so you need to know the types of oxides that we have in chemistry like sometimes you can say name the type of oxide. So there are four types of oxides in chemistry, four types in your syllabus. So there is basic oxide, basic oxide, there is the acidic oxide, there is neutral oxide, neutral oxide we also have uh, amphoteric oxide and for teric amphoteric oxide you need to know these four types of oxides because they can ask you define what an oxide is and then they name the four types of oxides so there are four types of oxides four four types of oxides okay so you need to know what is a we'll start with the what is a basic oxide okay a basic oxide we are defining what a, a, a basic oxide is what is it these are oxides of metals these are oxides These are oxides of metals. Okay? So these are oxides of metals. Okay? These are oxides of metals. What do I mean? They These are oxides formed 
when a metal reacts with oxygen okay so these are oxides of metals that's what i mean when I say oxides of metals it means oxides forms when metals react with oxygen these are oxides formed when a metal reacts with oxygen so they are oxides of metals examples of basic oxides examples include the whenever a metal reacts with oxygen like common metals let's say for example what common metal do we have potassium okay elements in group one potassium oxide the chemical formula it is k2o these are examples of basic oxides another example is sodium oxide sodium sodium oxide sodium oxide okay they can, these are chemical formulas so they in brackets so the, the chemical formula for sodium oxide it is na2 and then like that okay so any metal it combines with oxygen you see potassium is a metal that has combined combined with oxygen sodium is a metal that has combined with oxygen same thing with magnesium okay okay so if i say magnesium it's oxides of metals all these are basic magnesium oxide magnesium oxide it is mgo okay like this i'm putting in brackets if i say i pick another beto la magnesium i can pick calcium for example calcium all these you see calcium oxide which is cao calcium oxide in brackets okay cao okay so those are examples of basic oxide another type of oxides that you are going to look at i'm now i'm now, I'm now explaining them in details therefore so we'll look at uh, acidic oxide acidic oxide i believe i explained this huh? did i put acidic oxide yes i'd explain this so acidic oxide what are acidic oxide these are oxides of non metals meaning oxides of oxide forms when non metals react with oxygen so these are oxides formed when non metals meaning something that is not a metal non metal meaning an element that is not a metal non metal reacts with oxygen so whenever oxygen reacts with a non metal you form an acidic oxide so what are examples given if i'm examples of non metals that are react with oxygen it is the, the first example is carbon carbon dioxide for example carbon dioxide carbon dioxide carbon dioxide carbon dioxide this is the first one the first example carbon dioxide that's number one uh, carbon di oxide chemical formula co2 the second example it is sulfur dioxide uh, apart from carbon dioxide you have got uh, another example that i can give you is sulfur dioxide sulfur dioxide 
dioxide, which is SO2. You see, sulfur is an unmetal, so it's combining with the oxygen. Sulfur is an unmetal here. It's combining with oxygen. Same thing with carbon, it's an unmetal. It's combining with oxygen. So it's sulfur, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and so on. And then another example that you can use, anything that's a non-metal. Uh, another non-metal that is commonly used is nitrogen dioxide. Okay? Nitrogen, nitrogen dioxide. Okay? NO2 in brackets. Nitrogen dioxide. So all these, they contribute. Okay, nitrogen dioxide, I can give you four. Lastly, sulfur trioxide. Sulfur trioxide. It's SO3. Tri, meaning the oxygen should be three. Sulfur trioxide. So all these are non-metal oxides. Oxides of non-metal, acidic of oxides. Because I can tell you, name the type, the four types of oxides, and uh, they can say in the exam they can say name the four types of oxides and give examples of each oxide. You should list examples of acidic oxide, examples of uh, basic oxides, amphoteric oxide, and so on. You need to know those. Okay. So I've explained acidic. Now I'm going to explain, I've explained basic. Now what I'm remaining to explain now, I'm meaning now to explain neutral oxide. Neutral oxide. Neutral oxide. What are neutral oxides? As the name implies, neutral. So these are oxides, these what are neutral oxides? These are oxides. These are oxides that do not exhibit or show, do not exhibit. Do not, I'll use the word show, it's fine. You can use exhibit or show to exhibit, exhibit. These are, these are, these are, yeah, these are oxides that do not exhibit. Okay, so I said these are oxides that do not exhibit you need to have that understanding that these oxide do not do not what do not exhibit what okay that do not is that the way my spelling for exhibit is exhibit okay when I mean exhibit, I mean to show. In brackets, I mean showing. You can use exhibit or show. Doesn't matter either, either of them. Exhibit. So these are oxides that do not show or exhibit acidic properties. Acidic or basic. Or basic oxide properties okay let me put it like this so that you can easily understand so these are oxides that do not ex that do not ex that do not show acidic oxide properties These are oxides that do not show acidic uh, acidic oxide or basic oxide.
properties so they do not show acidic properties and they also don't show basic properties they are neutral they do not show acidic properties acidic oxide properties or basic oxide properties okay these are oxides that do not show acidic oxide or basic oxide properties so examples of neutral oxides of neutral oxides examples would include the examples of neutral oxide as the name implies neutral so we have the first one is actually water water is a neutral acid water water, water is a neutral oxide water we have got uh, carbon monoxide carbon monoxide monoxide carbon mono carbon monoxide carbon monoxide you should be able to know this by heart you need to know all of them everything i'm teaching you know it by heart because it will come in your exam so carbon monoxide which is the co okay carbon monoxide we have uh, nitrogen monoxide so apart from carbon monoxide we also have uh, nitrogen monoxide because this is also important it, 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 it's also there so apart from carbon monoxide we have nitrogen what nitrogen monoxide so it's also part of those oxides so as i said apart from carbon monoxide we also have nitrogen monoxide okay so so nitrogen monoxide and we said nitrogen monoxide did i write it or oh, nitrogen monoxide monoxide so no nitrogen monoxide apart from nitrogen monoxide what other oxides okay, uh, uh, acidic oxides apart from nitrogen monoxide we have um, uh, these are the most common so i've got carbon nit uh, water carbon uh, we are we water sulfur dioxide uh, what did we list uh, water one carbon monoxide two um, nitrogen 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 monoxide yeah those are the common these are the common uh, neutral oxides okay so these are the common neutral oxides so as i was saying these are the common neutral oxides apart from these i think these are the the the, the, the most common ones the ones that they usually ask in you in your exam so usually they'll they, they'll they'll move within these because these are the, the most common oxides that you're going to be having during exam and you need to know them by heart because it's of vital importance that you actually know them by heart because they usually come sometimes they ask dinitrogen oxide but anyway it's still the same dinitrogen oxide is also similar dinitrogen oxide sometimes they can ask about dinitrogen dinitrogen meaning no2 okay dinitrogen oxide dinitro dinitrogen oxide that's how you write it dinitrogen is also part of of it okay these are the common ones you need to know them by heart please know all those examples by heart because they can ask you in the exam and they can tell you to list them make sure you know them by heart lastly uh i think i've listed basic non-basic mm, i've listed basic acidic 
I was just doing a neutral. Now what is remaining is amphoteric. What about amphoteric oxides? What are amphoteric oxides? Amphoteric. Amphoteric oxides. These are oxides that exhibit 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 or show I said the way they exhibit means show these are oxides that show both basic and acidic oxide properties These are oxides. These are oxides that this is that that exhibit or show both basic and acidic oxide properties. So they they can exhibit both. They can act as acidic oxides at the same time. They can act as basic oxides. They are able to exhibit both acidic oxide and basic ox oxide uh, oxide properties. They 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 act as they can act as both. So most especially trans transitional element oxides, transitional elements, like for example, lead oxide. Examples would include the examples the uh, would include the lead oxides, lead oxide. Okay, lead is PB oxide, lead oxide, zinc oxide, zinc oxide lead oxide zinc oxide zinc oxide zinc oxide so lead oxide zinc oxide aluminium oxide even aluminium is here aluminium aluminium oxide Aluminium oxide, it's the aluminium oxide, like that. Another one, uh, an example of uh, a, an amphoteric oxide would include the, I think these are the most common ones. Eh? These are the most common ones. Okay. Okay, these are the most common ones. What about their reactions? Okay, their reactions, how do they react? Their reactions, okay, with water. Uh, let me just say reactions. Reactions of of oxides with water of oxides with water this is a subtopic how do oxides react with water for example if we take a, uh, carbon dioxide for example, this is i'll use the carbon dioxide for example carbon dioxide when it reacts with water h2 it will form what is called the Carbonic acid. These ones you have to know them by heart. These same chemical formulas you memorize them. Carbon when it reacts with water, it forms carbon dioxide. Carbon carbonic acid. This is carbonic. Carbonic acid. Okay. When carbon reacts with water, it forms carbon car carbonic acid. What about the uh, what else? If I say Sulfur dioxide, it reacts with the water. What does it form? It forms the sulfurous acid. You see, it forms this. It forms sulfurous acid. This is sulfurous. Sulfurous acid. Okay? Acid. 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 
Okay, what about uh, if you are reacting uh, sulfur trioxide? Sulfur trioxide, for example, you say sulfur uh, trioxide reacts with the uh, water. They always form acids. So this one reacts with water when dissolved in water, H2O. It will form sulfuric acid, sulfuric acid. It will form sulfuric acid. Chemical formula. The name is sulfuric acid. Okay. Roughly, that's a bit concerning acids and the way they behave whenever they are react with water. But today we're not learning on acids. We're learning on oxides. So I don't need to learn a lot to teach a lot on acids. So I've come to the end of the lesson. So basically, that is the end. So as I said, if this is your first time and you haven't hit the subscribe button, you can subscribe. Those ones, if it's your first time you want to do online tuitions with us, you can contact us on that number, WhatsApp, that number. Okay? So make sure, guys, you write... the following exercise write the following exercise which i'm giving okay this is the exercise so you need to do this exercise one you write the, the, the following you submit it eh? so this exercise one what is an oxide? That's question one. Question two. What are the four types? Four types of oxides. Three. Give Three examples of amphoteric oxides. Amphoteric oxide. Four. What is a basic oxide and give two examples Okay, question five, which is the last one. What is an acidic oxide and give three examples? Okay, that's all. Before I end, there's something that I forgot to squeeze in your no, in your notes, and this is the uh, make sure you, this this what I'm writing here. Write it in the notes. They are two categories categories of oxides. The first one is metallic oxide and the second one is non-metallic non-metallic oxide so this write it in the notes i didn't put it there are two categories thank you for listening